So in this video, we are going to be using the TI-8384 calculator in order to calculate the area between two curves. For our example, we're going to take a previous AP test in which we have two separate regions, R and S, defined by two different functions, F and G. So the first piece is we're going to figure out where those curves intersect to see what the boundaries are for our region R and region S. So region R will go from 0 to A, whatever that intersection point's value is. And then our other region will go from A to B. So for the first part, we can see that the area is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to A of our top function minus the bottom function, which would be g of x minus f of x dx. And then part b, our top and bottom functions have switched, and so part b, which is finding the region of area of region s, would be the integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x. My top curve once again minus the bottom curve. We could do these in separate integrals, but let's just save some time and be a bit more efficient. So in my y equals, I'm going to type in my first function, my f function, which is 1 fourth sine of pi x. And then in y2, I'm going to type in the g function, which is 4 raised to the negative x. And I'm going to take a look at the graphs we get from those two. So I'm going to hit graph. And as we can see, we don't see the region very well here. So I'm going to go to zoom. And I'll zoom in. And this is a little bit better. Although if we wanted a really good view of our two regions, we'll use zoom box. And so once you select zoom box, you go up to the upper left-hand part of where you want to start. And it's almost as though you're putting a push pin down on a piece of uh, cork board. And then you move your cursor to the, to the right and move your cursor down to open up the window and hit enter and it will zoom into that region that you have just selected. So now, in this case, we're going to hit second and trace, and we're going to go and find five, the intersection points of these two functions. So it says first curve, and it gives you y1 up top, so hit enter. Second curve, that's uh, we're looking for the intersection of, would be y2, hit enter. And then you're going to arrow over toward the place where those two functions intersect, and hit enter. On the bottom of your screen, you'll see the intersection point displayed. So now let's go to our home screen by hitting second and the mode key to quit. And let's store that value into one of our letters. So I'm going to hit the store key and the alpha key, and I'm going to select A and hit enter. And that will store that intersection point in A. I'll go back to my second trace and intersect. And I'll repeat that process with y1 and y2. And I'll arrow over to the other intersection point. And you can always stop this and rewind it to go back and see the process again. And then hit Enter. And it will give you the intersection point. And I want to store that x coordinate. So hit Second and the Mode key to go back to your home screen and hit Store. Alpha, and I'll select B this time to store that intersection point, and hit Enter. So now those values are stored in my calculator until I choose to store other values. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to enter in the difference of the two functions. So I want to do the G function minus the F function, so in other words, Y2 minus Y1. So go to the VARS key and over to YVARS function 
and I'm going to select y2 minus bars over to y bars function y1. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as you can see, I've done the difference of the two functions. I'm going to turn off the plots of y1 and y2 by going over on top of the equal sign and hitting enter to unselect it. Okay, then I'm going to go second and trace and seven for integral. And I'm going to calculate from zero to a upon being prompted. So lower limit will be zero. So I type in zero into that value and hit enter. Upper limit a, so I hit alpha and then choose a. And voila, the area of G minus F is 0 0.065, which is what that integral is equal to. So that's the area for region R. Now what I'm going to do is I'm in my Y4, I'm going to go bars, Y bars, function. This time I'm going to do Y1 minus bars, y bars, function, y2, in this case, and I'm going to go back up to the equal sign in y3 and turn it off, so I'm only plotting the difference in the f and the g function, and go second and trace down to 7 for integral, and this time I'm going to go from a to b. So lower limit, type in alpha A, enter, and then type in alpha B, and then enter. And it will shade in your uh, region of the difference between F and G, which gives you an area of 0.410. And there you have it.